thought we would start out with uh, a little bit of uh, the, the Snow White, a little classic fairy tale action for everybody. Uh, so the news is, I'm going to just pull up the article and show it to the people here. Uh, the news is uh, that apparently the Daily Wire is making a live-action Snow White movie starring conservative YouTuber Brett Cooper. I'm a big fan. I'm sure you are as well. <laughs> I, I'm sure I would be if I knew who that was. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, they have a teaser for it, and uh, let's, uh, let's check out what they say about it. So the conservative media company, Daily Wire, is making their own adaptation of Snow White called Snow White and the Evil Queen. Uh, the film is set to re be released next year, and the host is a part of apparently... Uh, their uh, their show, the comment section, something else I've never heard of. Not big on conservative platforms, personally. No, so is that what the Daily Wire is? Yeah, the okay. Daily Wire. Apparently, they're they're a platform for uh, right wing news, if you will. Okay. Uh, and uh, Brett Cooper is one of their spokesmen, and she is going to be playing uh, Snow White. And I thought that we would take a look at the trailer before we get into our discussion about this. Have you seen the trailer yet? No, no, not at all. I didn't even know it existed until you oh, text me. Man, you are you are in for quite the treat. Oh yeah, and gotta show this because I just I love how <coughs> bizarre this is. Look at their production company. It's called Bent Key. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, personally, I don't know what kind of door you're going to open with a bent key, but hey, I'm all for hmm, creativity. Maybe I don't know if it's a play on somebody's name, maybe, or two names put together. Yeah, like, something like that. And, and the, lo the image itself just looks like the 4K logo, so maybe that, that's what they're leaning into. I, I don't, mm. I don't, I don't yeah. see why, yeah. but... All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> the the trailer is uh, pretty uh, pretty cheap looking. I would say. Well, that's a teaser. Yeah. And there's honestly, Julian, there's not much there to criticize. No. I mean, they, they, it doesn't show you much. The the costumes I thought looked a little bit cheap, like just because they say costumes or costume. Yeah. Okay. I guess the like, single costume. The one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I noticed like this shot that they show right here where she's walking along. I was like, all right, that, that just looks kind of cheap, but that's, I'm, I'm nitpicking a little bit yeah, there. Yeah, 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 you, you are. <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought that it was funny how all the things that they show, they're like, uh, uh, remember the apple apples? We brought a I'm whole a bunch of apples this come. time. <laughs> hey man, I'm, I'm not trying to take the wind out of your sails, but. She is picking apples. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I it's, mean it, it, it's reasonable that her ba bucket would be full of apples. For sure, for sure. But I, I don't, I mean, I guess I haven't seen Snow White in a long time. Is there a scene where she's like picking apples? Is yeah. that a thing? Yeah. Okay, well yeah, then, yeah. shit, I'm, I, then th this all checks out and this is not that goofy at all. Because when I saw that, I was like, I remember one apple. No, no, one apple is a is a big thing. Yeah, and actually, it might have been the uh, the old witch who was yeah the poison the apple. apple. Um, but it's just this is just a teaser. It's just yeah. you know the apples make for a great visual. Some of the words that they used, I was like, all right, that's it's a little bit strange. They say uh, it's a story about a princess and a prince, about beauty and vanity, about love and its power to raise us from death to life. It's our own adaptation of an ancient fairy tale. And they say that last bit because apparently Disney's like, so can we see these receipts? Can, can, can we, what's this about? Mm -hmm. Because uh, we own that story. And I think that that's kind of them doing a little bit of bullying because like they don't own the fairy tale, but they right. own the rights to their version. Well, yeah, from what I understand, if you want to do something like this, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's public domain. You can do what you want. Yeah. It just cannot in any way resemble what Disney has done. Yeah. And even her hair was totally different. Like, they're they're Ye definitely deviating yeah, from Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you do that, I mean, 
Because otherwise, to jump on them to go would be to say to pull uh, Guillermo del Toro aside and go like, "Yes, Pinocchio, you got here." No, no, <laughs> shut that shit down. I just thought though that their their phrasing there, like talking about it's about a princess and a prince, mm -hmm. it's like, all right, mm -hmm. that that checks out. But then beauty and vanity, I was like that. I don't know. I thought that that was kind of a weird word to use to describe. Cause I, and I looked up the definition of vanity, and it was like excessive pride yeah. of how one looks. And I don't know. For me, I never... Do you not know the story of Snow White? Well, sh <laughs> I'm starting to think maybe I don't. I mean, it's about someone who's out in the forest and, uh, like, they just get lost or something like that. No. <laughs> Isn't that what it's about? No, no. <laughs> No. So refresh my memory then. No, What's no, no. You got the, the the queen who's like, I'm the most beautiful. I'm the I'm the fairest. And the right. mirror says, like, used to be you, but now this chick, she's hotter than right. you. And she's like, I, that can't stand. Right. That's right with the, the mirror and all yeah. that stuff. That's okay. the vanity. I guess. it's You but, guess? I, that it's right there. No, that's, that's no I guess. But but it's like pointing out the vanity. It's That's something that the villain, you know, prides himself yes. on. Yes. And I don't know, it's, to me, it just, it stands out as them like just going, oh, look at us. We're going to be so beautiful. Our version will stand out. No, that's not. <laughs> no, that's I'm not. I'm all wrong. Then. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I should have rewatched Snow White before we talked about this. Or read the Wikipedia entry. <laughs> Well, let's let's continue down the article before okay. I say uh, okay. anything okay. else okay. that's okay. that's All wrong. Right. Okay. This is a with a story with timeless values like love, friendship, and kindness, and I can't wait to share them with you. <laughs> All right, how are you going to attack that? <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not even going to attack it. But it's like values, huh? Because it's because it's you know it's from a right wing look, publication. Yeah, look, the, the the values thing is a dig. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll give you that. But consider, okay, if Disney wasn't doing a remake, uh, or especially a quote-unquote woke remake of mm -hmm. Snow White, and you didn't know this was from a conservative rag, what did you see here that would, that would trigger you? Nothing, nothing really. Nothing. Yeah, it just it just nothing. looks kind of bland. Yeah, I guess. just be like, oh, they're they're re redoing Snow White. It'd be the same. I ask the same question I'm asking with the Disney movie. Why? Yeah, and the Disney one, I don't think that they're leaning the right way into that. Well, look, I'm, I mean, this, the whole thing they're doing, it, it, it's, there's so many avenues with that, because part of it is the, because I have the big, okay, why are you doing this? Well, for money. Okay, it's for money. Yeah. Oh, but also, hey, uh, representation and, and diversity. And it's like, yeah, is I, just, this I, just, the... I just wish that that was the priority as opposed to the making money part. And... It, it, it feels like they're sticking it in a place where nobody's really asking for There's it. There's a bit of a controversy around uh, the representation of little people oh, in the absolutely. movie. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And personally, I, I'm i more with the side that's opposed like what Peter Dinklage was speaking. Because they were talking, to, he was being treated like he was the Lorax for little people. Mm -hmm. like, like he speaks for all the little people and knows what they would want for their career. It's yeah, like, yeah. you made it already, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. like yeah. that's seven roles for uh, little people to like really show off their skills Absolutely. or dwarves, if Absolutely. you will. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, I was wondering, where do you fall on that? Yeah, like, no, we, we, we talked about that extensively. Mm -hmm. And and how wrong that is yeah and it's like okay the whole the whole thing about representation and uh diversity is uh, is like hey uh, these actors of of different races never had a chance at these roles mm -hmm. so now they are being given that chance but also uh little people i hate using that word but little people have not had those opportunities no it, it's been few and far between and now here's one that's perfectly set up for them they go nah no, 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 not this time. But yeah, I think that uh, this, I think we're going to be getting a lot of these fairy tales. I think that this is going to be a thing where we're going to be getting, you know, these these cheaper, lower budget films that are just telling these fairy tales because they're public domain. One other thing that Kevin King sent me about this, uh, this Snow White story is uh, this isn't the first time they've kind of leaned into what's popular and, you know, kind of 
pandering, if you will, but like always being super anti woke. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And uh, the the lady who they have playing Snow White, she was also the spokesman for their chocolate. He, him, and she, her. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just thought that that was, that was really funny. And when I, when I clicked over here and was going to close the window, they were like, hey, keep it woke <laughs> oh, free, man. all right? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait. But the he, her, she, him, that's the height of wokeness. How is that anti-woke? You want to buy a piece of chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> I just love what it says. Be the first to know about new products, promotions, and musings from the God King.